Welcome back to KTN Prime. Well, it's just a few hours before the High Court delivers its verdict on a case filed by Opposition Coalition for Reforms and Democracy challenging the legality of security laws that were enacted recently. And now the government's legal advisor says the case may take any turn depending on how the judges analyze Court's argument. Attorney General Gidum Wigai says interpretation of the Constitution depends on how best lawyers argue their case. The AG was speaking to KTN's Erin Ching. The Security Bill 2014 uh, has been uh, one of the things that has been talked about uh, towards the end of this year on numerous platforms. Uh, I don't know, what is your own assessment uh, of the case that uh, court has presented uh, in the High Court? I think myself that uh, it is important in, uh, in broadening our democratic space in this country that all what the constitution means continues to be a matter of public debate i think that is a healthy thing and i think that the constitution intended that the court will always be the ultimate judge of what is constitutional and what isn't so i find that where the executive in its wisdom like we have done has made proposals for the amendment of law to the uh, to the legislature and the legislature has enacted the president has assented if any question arises as to whether that law measures to the constitution it is only proper that the court should have a, uh, a say about that ultimately so what is happening is is healthy there's absolutely nothing wrong with that in the Senate, we saw the opposition senators uh, basing their argument uh, on the interpretation of Article 110 of the Constitution. In your own view, do you think uh, both speakers needed to have uh, been in consultation before this bill was enacted? You see, how Parliament works is an internal matter for Parliament itself. And how the Speaker of one house works with another Speaker is entirely up to their own internal arrangement. I know for a fact, because I've appeared before the Senate, that the Senate has preferred a situation where bills that originate uh, 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 from government are taken to both Speakers. Then both Speakers can determine whether it's a bill that ought to be tr introduced in the Senate as well. This bill, I need to remind you, is actually a parliamentary initiative. It is a bill that actually is, is tabled by the Security Committee itself, uh, the Honorable Kamama's Committee. So again, the question of what are the internal discussions that, that take place in Parliament between the speakers, between the committee chairs and so on, is, is something that is entirely uh, in Parliament's discretion. I do not believe myself that a bill ceases to be efficacious uh, because formally, formally, uh, it has not been tabled, uh, it has not been presented by one speaker. It is possible that uh, one speaker talking to another speaker may say, uh, we agree that that is not a bill that ought to be here. And there is no record of that, and there need not be a record of that. Uh, Attorney General, this case of uh, people eating chicken, should the same case that is happening in the UK be brought here into Kenya, or some people who are mentioned in the uh, UK be tried here in the country? I can assure you, for the last one and a half years, we have had very serious interaction with the serious fraud office on both cases, on the IEBC case and on the Kenya National Examination Council case. <laughs> yes, uh, we have supplied them with a lot of information that was used in the case that they have prosecuted. They have also supplied the Anti-Corruption Commission with a lot of information. The challenge is that we cannot go to the public in a time years way to say we are busy investigating A, B, C, or D. But the truth is that this is going on all the time. Indeed, if you take the anglo leasing cases themselves, we were always in contact with Swiss authorities. We were in contact with authorities in... Uh, in the UK, we were in contact with the uh, authorities in Jersey.
But it isn't a matter that can be uh, brought into the public domain without compromising investigations. I thank you, Attorney General Githumugai, for finding time to talk to KTN.